I like collecting old photographic books for all sorts of reasons. The main reason is to learn from them and quite often you learn as much from the adverts as the actual text and this is very much the case of the photographic ornament produced by the British Journal of Photography in 1955 because here in the middle is an advert for the Gilbert Hunter camera. Now R.W. Hunter were photographic retailers and I remember them advertising in amateur photographer in the 1970s and 80s. Um, and this is an advert for a British designed box camera. And it's a box camera I first came across in an auction but did not bid enough for it because quite often these go for 50 to 100 pounds and they aren't commonly available. But the other week I was at a flea market, Shepton Mallet Flea Market, which is a huge antique and vintage fair and I found one. It wasn't in the best of condition and I think the guy wanted 30 quid for it and I did actually pay 20 pounds for it which was more than I in one sense should have done because of the condition. However you just don't see these cameras and I felt because of the condition of the camera 20 pounds were quite fair because as you can see here we are this is the Hunter I bought and um, the, I don't know if it is lizard skin but it's supposed to be, this material round the edge is not in the best of condition. However the camera is firing and I thought we would have a go with it because it has quite a few features. Number one is this aluminium build, number two is this rather unusual viewfinder. Um, I will stand up to illustrate this. Obviously a box camera you fire from your wrist and you look down and this way obviously we go in portrait and I turn that round and then the camera becomes um, landscape and there's an etched viewfinder, um, an etched viewing part on the viewfinder which is but portrait when you do that and then you look in the landscape part when you do this. So portrait, landscape. So that's the first interesting feature. It has a flash contact, second feature. It has some focusing, limited and there's a little screw thread there. It has what I think is a fascinating feature. When I click the button, well, I have to wind on. Oh, might have to do a bit of editing. The camera when it comes out you load it there and you see this is curved here which is interesting. When you click you suddenly get a red filter in here and the red filter means that you can't take a photograph until you wind on and when you wind on you then get a green. You take the photograph and it replaces the green with the red and when it's red you can't take a photograph until you wind on. Um, there was a rumour that the police actually used these. Um, I find that unlikely but they could have done. Um, it's definitely the most beautiful type of box camera I've seen and I would imagine when it was brand new with um, this um, lizard skin around it and the gleaming aluminium it must have looked very nice. Um, nice to hold, nice to use but more importantly does it still work? As I said it came out in about nine, this Audemars here is 1955 so this camera is getting on to be 70 years. Let's see if it still has any life in it. This first image you can see it is out of focus, it's of Corf Castle in Dorset and I'm not sure whether the film's not straight at the back or whether it's a um, shutter issue but it's not in focus, it's not great. However this bridge is 
far more in focus and we've got a train coming into the station and it's quite encouraging the exposure isn't fantastic but the sharpness is quite good and i was really pleased that the next image of this train is sharp um there was a little bit of a um problem i think on the framing here but the image itself is quite sharp so i was quite pleased with this and then this image is as sharp as anything and as clear now one out of eight isn't the best shooting ratio but it just showed that this camera is capable of good results and i think when it was new in its heyday it was actually a really good box camera this example really needs a good service but at least it proved that it is still capable of taking at least one good image thank you for watching bye for now